Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. My name is Francesca and thanks so much for coming to my channel and watching my vlogs. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of a morning routine slash a little bit of what I do during the day and then a nighttime routine because a lot of people have been asking. I'm gonna have what I eat in a day coming very, very soon. I have a Fashion Nova haul coming as well. I'm just going to get into it. Let's back it up to when I woke up. Enjoy, thanks for watching guys. Morning, everybody. I slept in a little bit because I was super tired. It was Halloween weekend, so I went a little bit crazy. Texted some of my friends, answered some emails, edited some photos, and made some coffee, and took a shower, as you can see. And my hair smells so good because I used this new shampoo that I just started using recently. It is so amazing. Since I have extensions in now, my hair is blonder. It's really easy for your hair to be thin and kind of not be as full with the extensions because they're heavy. And then when they're blonde, it's more brittle. So this shampoo that I'm using now, it's beer shampoo. I'll put it right here. It like combats thinning and it combats hair loss. It's literally been a game changer for my routines now and I love it so much. When I first discovered the beer shampoo, I was like, wait, there's beer in this shampoo, but there's literally yeast in it, like real beer yeast, which sounds so weird to be in your hair, but it's been so amazing for my hair. Not even just that, just in general with like hair loss. So I guess how it started, it's kind of a funny story. They noticed that people working in beer factories had extremely luxurious healthy hair. So they were like, let's look into this. So then they started putting the beer yeast in the shampoo and they noticed this crazy, crazy difference. So I hopped on the trend and was like, let's give this beer shampoo a go. And I don't know if you guys have noticed in my photos lately how amazing and luxurious my hair has looked. It's thanks to this shampoo. Everyone knows biotin and vitamin B are key to keep your hair strong and healthy and the shampoo is filled with it, which is also one of the reasons why it's so effective. So I'm also gonna show you how I leave my hair natural because I know a lot of people, does anyone even care? I don't know if people actually care, but I'm just gonna show you anyways. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my curly hair look. Usually I would start doing my hair right away when it's wet, so I f***ed up. So I have to re-wet it, but I'm gonna show you guys the shampoo that I was just talking about. It comes in these little boxes, really cute. So the beer is from Germany. I never heard of this stuff until recently, but I'm putting you guys on it now so you can have thick, luxurious hair without hair loss. It has all the ingredients that you need for your hair to be so beautiful. So there's no chemicals, no sulfates, no anything that's bad for your hair. All these other brands come across so natural, but they're not because there's all these sneaky ingredients hiding in the shampoo and this has none of that. It's thick, so it absorbs all the grease. So it leaves your hair and scalp with the room to absorb all the nutrients, which is definitely key. Your hair is just able to absorb everything because all the clogged areas are taken out of your scalp. So you'd think it would smell like beer too, but it doesn't. It smells really good. I don't even know how to describe it. Fresh flowers and fresh like watermelon. You can kind of smell the coconut in there too. My hair smells amazing after using it, which is, you need a shampoo that after you use it, your hair just smells great. You know what I mean? And guys, guess what? It's clinically tested to improve hair loss. So FDA approved, made in Korea, everything you never need. And now I'm gonna show you how I do my hair. So pretend my hair has been wet this whole time. So wash my hair with the beer shampoo every few days, brush through my deliciously smelling hair. I have this argan oil for blondes that Haley actually left me. I don't think she left it on purpose, actually. I think she accidentally left it, but thanks, Haley. This is what I do with the oil. If I'm leaving it natural, I put a lot of oil. Obviously, if I leave it straight, I put like a quarter of the amount, but if it's curly, then it doesn't really matter if it's a little like silky looking. And then I have another one from Fanola. They are really great as well. So I just do that. An anti-frizz spray. This was also from Fanola. And yeah, this is literally all I do. I know some people use the blow dryer to diffuse it. I feel like that defeats the whole purpose of leaving it natural because then you're putting heat on it anyways. So this weekend, Halloween weekend, I did my hair every night. So I definitely need a break. I have to film a YouTube haul today for Fashion Nova and I have to film some content for this company that I'm wearing right now. My hair can be natural for this because I'm not doing anything 
I mean, I'm doing stuff, obviously, but it's not like I'm going on a date or anything. Not that there is anyone to date. But. And I think the key when you're done go doing this with your fingers, don't touch it. Like put it behind and leave it, let it do its thing and dry. If you start getting dressed or pulling your hair, it's gonna really mess with the curl or go outside because then it's really hot out today. So I don't want it to be frizzy. Actually, I'm gonna add some hairspray today because I'm feeling wild, just like a little bit. Also shout out to Cosmetic Rejuvenation Center. I've been getting laser on the back of my arms because I had like rosacea. Oh, Remy tattoo. I've had two sessions so far and it's working. I mean, it's still there, but I've had bumps on the back of my arm. Since I was probably a fetus, I've tried everything. And the only thing that ever really worked was like scrubbing them really fucking hard. Uh, they recommended doing like laser hair removal and that's what I've been doing. And it's been working. Shout out to them, I'll tag them here. Also, I've been taking more vitamins than usual, iron vitamins in the morning, cranberry vitamins for, if you're a girl, you know what they're for. I don't need to explain that. If you're a guy, you do it. So I'm gonna start my makeup. If you wanna see me do it, feel free. If you don't, skip. Lou only needs to make a little cameos. Say hello, how cute are you? Aren't you the sweetest little boy in the whole wide world? Have a kiss? Thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss, my love. So I feel like you guys have heard me talk about how I'm always waiting to eat because I like fasting and I'm never hungry, but I'm so hungry today. I'm gonna get ready super quick and then I'm gonna eat. Let's do it. I started using this new concealer. I hopped on the trend. I'm not a massive fan of it. I mean, I have concealers that work way better than this. I always have to like apply it twice. Setting powder is what I do next. I'm so tired. I can't even think. Some dark eyeshadow. Well, it's not really dark. It's like a lighter brown. Recently started doing my mascara before I do my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows like this. So it gives my mascara longer to dry so it doesn't curl under. I'm gonna just show you what I'm talking about. Go Bigger Go Home by Kat Von D, still my fave. If you guys remember from my last video, you blink, 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 blink. See, way more effective. Looking long, looking beautiful. I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of the lid, being very careful not to touch the lashes. I'm gonna start the brow, so now you're gonna see. Remember I told you guys in my other video, I like doing my eyebrows, like I start here and here. I never know how my eyebrows are gonna turn out. Sometimes it's freaking fabulous. And then honestly, most of the time I'm like, why did I do this? This one turned out okay today. Brow gel. You're just gonna go up. That's all I do. It's really weird getting ready to no music. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I cannot get ready with music playing if I'm rushed. And then I lose track because I'm just like listening and vibing. Lightly pat off the setting powder. Hello, hello. The cutest puppy in the whole wide world. Oh, no, 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 not with makeup. Let's do a setting powder break, shall we? Because it is 11 a.m. And my makeup needs to last me all day today. Eyebrow pot, go under, whatever the frick this is called. Mascara on the bottom. A little technique, put a little layer, you let it dry, and then if you want to put more, then you put more after, because then your eye eyelashes are more separated and they're not like chunky. If that made any sense whatsoever. And now, we're almost done. Time to contour. This is all I do. And then with the concealer sponge, just go back over the nose. My favorite iconic highlighter. I'm not a massive fan of my face today. My skin's not looking cute, but highlighter makes it all better. That's not blended. Jesus Christ. We're almost done and then I get to make food. I've never been more excited for food in my entire life than I am right now. I don't know why I'm so hungry today. Probably my body like needing nutrients. It's like, what the hell? How much tequila did you consume? This is us Why after 15 like shots me? of tequila. Wait, what? Why doesn't he like me? <laughs> I have no self-control. I'm just gonna use the powder blush that I have from Stellar. 
I'm gonna add some eyeliner, just a tiny little bit to the corner. And I'm not gonna put on lips because I'm gonna go eat. And voila! Oh, my hair smells so good from this beer shampoo! It just makes my hair so voluminous and filled with nutrients and full and prevents all my hair loss. This is the look for today. I'm gonna clean my bathroom because it's a mess. And then I'm gonna go eat. So sometimes I'll do like a very elaborate breakfast with like a tofu scramble and like vegan bacon and all that stuff. But I'm really hungry today and I don't really wanna spend 20 minutes cooking. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna show you guys once it's done. We got some toast in the toaster oven. Vegan bacon. This is the best vegan cheese ever. So it looks like we're going for a vegan BLT today. Oh, you like the vegan cheese. You like it, baby. If something's vegan, like vegan meat or vegan cheese, Romy, he knows. And he is not a fan. So this is what it looks like right now. Oh, you can't even say. I hope this isn't a boring morning routine, guys. I always say that I hope this isn't boring, but I always hope this isn't boring. Bon appetit. You want some? You want some? So I just filmed a Fashion Nova vlog that will probably be up on my channel in the next few days or maybe next week. Excusez-moi. Romy's a barky boy today. He's a very barky boy. And I recorded the entire vlog for Fashion Nova accidentally in slow motion. So I had to redo it. I don't even know how, how that even happens. I don't even know how one even goes about messing that up but yeah now i'm gonna clean my room because it's a mess i have boxes everywhere i feel bad for violet because she has to live with me i get packages three four times a day and working and launching fair go the label because i do it all myself if you guys didn't know fair go the label is solely me and my girlfriend hyani i just hired my little sister as well it's us three i do have a lot of help from models and photographers but juggling all of that i do have a messy room because i have so much clothes so this is where we're at right now so we got clothes everywhere from the hall that's romy's stepping stool those are boxes for a giveaway that i have to do in the next few days some lucky winner is going to win every single one of those including two iphones so make sure you stay tuned for that this is the haul i just did so that's why that's a mess yeah i'm just waiting for violet to get home we might go to a pumpkin patch or i might meet up with some friends to talk only fans business and then probably gonna go for a few drinks because I'm a little bit stressed out right now. I haven't shown everything I've done so far this morning. I've kind of just wanted to show you a little bit of my morning routine, but I'm gonna show you guys as well at the end of the day, my nighttime routine. So I'll show you how I get ready for bed. Yeah, I guess this is gonna be like a morning nighttime routine vlog. We got a classic half up, half down, and we're gonna go get some pizza and wine with some friends, right Romy? It's lit. Oh, hello. Hello. Then I'll show you my nighttime routine. Hopefully I might be drunk. Are we a cute couple, baby? Bless you. He's allergic to everyone's bullshit today. We just got back from dinner with some friends. I'm out on a rock. On a rock. I'm out, I'm out on a walk with little Romy. We're heading back. Me and Violet are going to watch The Bachelorette because it's our new weird obsession. I don't usually like TV shows, but this one's really entertaining. And I was saying earlier, I wanted to be drunk and I am, so I'm stoked. And then I'm gonna drunkenly, even more drunk, cause I definitely am gonna drink wine. Show you guys how I wash my face drunkenly. All right. What is that? What is that? What are you doing, baby? Give it to me. So I'm back. The Bachelorette, for some reason, decided to wait till Thursday to air the episode. So I'm just gonna skip watching it and go to bed. So sometimes before I go to bed, I would wash my hair. I know I've mentioned this a few times throughout this video, but I wanna mention it again. My favorite beer shampoo because my hair still smells so amazing from using it and it's just so thick like as you can see like it's doing wonders i'm just obsessed so sorry that i mentioned it a lot so i'm gonna wash my face i have vegan kombucha face wash from pacifica so i like to use a few different face washes to wash my face usually one to get off the base of makeup and then another one that has more of an exfoliant under it so this one 
is an Illumineers Lotus Scrub that I got from Drop Dead Gorgeous Med Spa in Kingston. Oh. And it looks like this. Sometimes I'll go for a little round two just to make sure I get everything off. I don't have a specific routine that I stick to every night. For washing my face, I usually switch it up because I get a lot of new products and I love trying out a bunch of them and seeing which one works for me. I think overusing products is not good because I think it'll make you break out. Keeping your skin hydrated and drinking a lot of water is really key. Not using stuff that's too perfumed. Lately, I've been using this Pure Marika Oil Cold Pressed and it's just basically raw oils. And I put a really thin layer because putting too much will make you break out, but staying hydrated is very, very important. And of course, I have my Latisse that I use. I do rotate between a bunch of different lash growth serums. I always make sure before I go to bed or during the day, I put on one, but I do have a few different ones that I use. I just think it's very important, like no matter what brand it is, to definitely use a lash growth serum because it works. We're out here, you know it's dark, but we finished. I lit a beautiful pumpkin spice candle. Romy is coming up to bed. I'm gonna watch a few episodes of The 100 because my sister put me on it and I love it. And then I'm gonna go to bed and prepare for election day tomorrow, which apparently is gonna be crazy, right, Roms? So we're loading up on some food, some drinks, and we're gonna stay home all day and not leave the house because as a Canadian, I'm definitely a little bit scared to be here and I don't want to leave the house. Just gonna be honest with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my nighttime routine. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope it was good. How do you think my vlog was? Do you like it? I hope it was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. That's a little bit aggressive, Rooms. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Again, thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments that you always leave me. I am sorry that I am intoxicated, but peace out. Love you guys.